Hey guys, we are back for another video. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are notified when we upload. And then make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you like the content. And as you always do, let me know what you guys think in the comments. So let's get right to it. So um, for all of my Real Housewives of Atlanta fans, and especially the ones who have been watching the show for an extremely long time. I've watched the show since the first season or since number one, whatever number one was. So you guys know that Kenya Moore has been airing her grievances with regards to Bravo and the network. One of the issues this Kenya has addressed is that she had a birthday party, you know, for her daughter. It wasn't shown. She has stated she wanted to do a, um, have her own show with her daughter and they didn't basically turn her down. She also talked about having her salon spa. Um, and she felt like they did not show it at all. And she felt like since the show follows her life, she felt like that should be shown. And we all know that, you know, there's talks of a re reboot and basically starting with the whole new um, cast. And after this video, you are going to understand exactly why they need to get a whole new cast. Well, the reason why I'm doing this video is because Kenya Moore has been exposed again for telling lies. If you guys have watched Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know she's been called out, called out for the fake boyfriends. And guys, listen. People just don't say that she had fake boyfriends just to make it up. There is proof that Kenya had been in relation. She had been in relationships with particular guys years ago. And then she went back and got in a relationship with them just for the show. And then some people said that she paid them. Okay. So there's a lot about Kenya. A lot of this stuff is not made up, but this interesting thing just happened. Now, you guys heard Kenya be, being so frustrated with the network over her salon, honey. Well, when I give you this tea, you're going to be like, what? So let's get into our copyright disclaimer really quick so we can jump right into um, the information. And I promise you, I promise you, um, it's going to be worth the wait when I get done getting into this. Because I was like shocked, like, oh my God, I was shocked, but not shocked. So the disclaimer, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, this allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips. The balance the tips the balance in favor of fair use this video is made for entertainment purposes and is transformative in nature so i'm gonna bring up a video and we're going to talk about and discuss the video later but i'm gonna give you a heads up kenya moore spoke about having her spa open she stated that she did a soft opening we all know what a soft opening is that is something that you do right before you open your salon or whatever your business is keep in mind these episodes are like six months in advance so we're watching it now it has already happened it has already occurred um so let's get into the video um where kenya is exposed for again another fake storyline uh, yes, another fake storyline, and then we'll get into the commentary. My book signing to this Kenya Moore hair care. Y'all, what in the Peachtree Boulevard that is cement steps and a pipe? Oh, y'all, y'all can see it. You can see it. Kenya, you ought to be shaming yourself. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna go into where Kenya actually had her reception, pretending like it was her salon. Allegedly, y'all, this is the spot. I feel like it was, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna say allegedly, because I don't need nobody coming after me because all I got is this cell phone. Okay, guys, so the video that you just watched 
is a blogger slash YouTuber. Um, and her name is Millie Chun. Let me make sure I'm, I don't like when I say people's name wrong, but it is, yeah, Millie Chun TV. So go check her out. She's on YouTube. So from what I gather from her, she's doing a book signing and she's doing some traveling. Obviously, she watched The Real Housewives of Atlanta and was like, hey, I'm in you know, Atlanta. I'm going to go check out Kenya's um, salon spa, which to her surprise is freaking not even there. And let me also let you guys know something else. This has already been stated. People have already stated that the salon that she's showing that they had that soft opening, people had already stated that that is not her actual building. So Kenya Moore, if you even go look at her um, her social media, she has been showing a building as if she was transforming the building. And then the picture that Miss Millie Shine is showing, she shows that as the finished building. When in all actuality, they are two different places. And the place that she's showing that is the finished building is not even her building. It's actually something, uh, it's a, let me get it correct. It's a facility in the area that is rentable space. So this is the thing. We have a problem with these reality stars in their fake lion lives. Um, so this is what, um, Candy had to say because Kenya was exposed and the neighborhood talk actually picked it up and Candy went under the pictures. And this is what she had to say. She says she is wrong giving out misinformation. Now, how is the YouTuber slash blogger wrong for giving out misinformation when she only took a video of what was there. Does that make any sense? She says Kenya's party was definitely in the in Kenya salon. That is a lie. That is a lie. Kenya's salon is not even finished. She just showed pictures of the unfinished space. She said, Kenya says on the show tonight that she decided to put a second floor in her salon, which I assume, I assume is the construction that is happening now. Wait a minute, ma'am. Wait a minute. When we watch this and they show a glimpse of it, or when she showed it on her social media, Kenya made it appear that where she was having the event space soft opening was her salon. We know that that is not true. So the fact that she's putting in a second floor doesn't make any sense. And it has nothing to do what the YouTuber slash blogger is stating because the area that she showed is actually a rentable space and it is not her salon. You see what I'm saying? So what is Candy talking about? And she said, as far as that lobby she's showing in this video, there is a door from there that leads to Kenya Salon, but the party was not in the lobby. Well, this is the thing. Candy, you just stated that the picture that she's showing, that it is a door that basically leads to Kenya Salon. So thank you for telling us that that is not Kenya Salon where they actually had the party in. And then Candy goes on to say, people be quick to drag somebody and don't know what they be talking about. Well, that's interesting, Candy, because you drag Sheree, y'all drag Drew about their businesses. This is the thing. If you're going to be on TV and you're providing information, you may have some people that want to stop by. The issue with this cast is they are continually lying. And I am so up for a reboot because the thing about this reality world is when you're on a reality show, you are basically exposing your entire life. What the hell do we know about Kenya that we didn't know about her from seven years ago? We know the situation with her mother. Um, we know about that, but we don't know anything else. 
On this show, Kenya is portrayed as the villain. All she does is attack people and get into it with people. We don't know anything about her. Nothing new. She is going through a divorce. We don't know anything about that because she doesn't talk about it on the show. We know, you know, from what we read on the blogs. But why is Candy sticking up for Kenya? Is it because they're in an alliance? Because Candy, if you have to use the word, I assume, then you don't know either. But is that the reason why Bravo? Because fans are stating that, oh, that's the reason why Bravo didn't really show her salon because it wasn't real. It wasn't real, Kenya. And you're on the show calling out Marlo saying what happened to her house? Well, I don't know. Maybe she didn't get it, but you said you had a whole salon. Now, Marlo did indicate about, you know, buying a house, but ma'am, you're doing the exact same thing that you are accusing other people of doing, making up fake storylines for TV. You do not have a salon that's open, but you did a soft launch as if you had it and it was opening. And then you accuse the network of not airing your salon when in all actuality, it's not even open, Kenya. I don't know, guys. I am in full, um, you know, with this reboot, I am ready for new. I, I think everybody needs to be new, maybe one or two people, but I am not with both Candy and Kenya coming back. I think one of them needs to leave. Um, I think they need to come back and give their real life. I don't, with Candy, I believe that she has given her real life, but I believe the alliance with Kenya is really hindering a lot because I believe they work together to not so much make the show a good show, but make sure that they are paid and see what they can get away with. Because Kenya, you have been on this show and honey, we don't, we, even when you got married, you left the show. You you got married, you left the show, and then you come back to the show and you say you, you don't like the fact that they won't give you and your daughter a show. Well, I mean, it's just, I don't know about this class. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I don't know. Do you guys think this was another one of Kenya fake storyline lies? What do y'all think? If you Google Kenya Salon, it gives you no address. It just gives you a bunch of gibberish. So we know that this place is not open. Why is this woman lying to us? Let, 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 let me know what you guys think in the comments. See you in the next video.